Business problems, our team thinks that the death penalty should be kept in the United States. Our first main uh, idea is that death penalty saves people's life and help the society to keep, uh, keep steady. Uh, we found three evidence to support our idea. The first one is that death penalty could help to alarm people and make them think carefully before they try to kill some others. We found uh, a, a evidence from a real research which is done by Jeff Cobby in, in this year. And uh, in his poll, he, uh, he shows that, the result shows that most of the United citizens said that they uh, fear of death, which means if they know they will pay their life when they try to hurt someone others, they will think carefully and try to stop the action of uh, hurt someone else. And uh, that, that can support our, our idea that the death penalty could help to save people's life. Uh, we can also find evidence from the uh, national research. We got the data from this year. The national re research is that the number of people who put into death uh, dropped e even turned to zero when the death penalty began to work in 1966. Mm -hmm. In 1966 is the first year that the death penalty began to work, work in the United States. And after that, the national research shows the data that in 1965, the number of capital punishment dropped to only seven. But in 1960, the number is 56, is really a sharp drop. And after that, in 1966, the number turned to only one. And after that, in 1967, the number of capital punishment in the United States turned to zero, and this number kept for several years. Which means that the, uh, be, when the uh, capital punish punishment began to work in the United States, it uh, really worked well and helped to keep the society steady and save lots of people's life, no matter the criminal's life and uh, the, cr the victim's life and also the murderer's life. And we, all, we can also find evidence to support our, our idea from uh, an article published this year. And the name of the article is Support for Death Penalty Growth in the United States. And in this research paper, they also show data that the murder rate dropped from a high of 10.2 in 1980 and to, uh, to 5.7 in 19. Uh, 99, and we can find that it's uh, almost 44% reduction. And this data can also support our idea that the death penalty uh, help to save people's life and keep the whole society uh, steady. Okay, our second reason is most U.S. citizens favor this penalty. We are judging this penalty in U.S. and about 72% favor this penalty, and 38 states still have this penalty in U.S. Why those people still favor this penalty, although they believe some people may be innocent and go to death? Because they want justice. We are talking about taking lives, not a small crime. If someone steals something from you, it's okay, will be punished anyway. If he took your eyes, you can have another eyes. If he cut your arm, medicine development can give you another arm. But what about if he get, it takes your life? Life, nothing can give you. It's only once. And this man take your life. And what we should do? Send him to a life sentence? Give him another life in a jail? This man took man's life so he should pay. This is the justice, the rule of justice. And many people still favor of that. They think they will be happy, will feel at least relief that the person who killed someone for no reasons or for stupid reasons should pay. When this man pay, other people will say this is the justice and they will not do. Uh, uh, a week ago, I watched on TV a man was caught in California. This he, he is a thief and he had a gun. The gun was unloaded. And they asked him, why are you carrying a gun unloaded? He said, I don't want, I can't steal in California. If I caught, I would go to jail. But if I kill someone, they would kill me here. I don't want to die. I can go to jail, but I don't want to die. So this penalty saved others' lives. 
this man know if he does something in California, they will kill him. But in a, a, a in a other state, if he kills someone, he know he will go to jail. So it's no problem for him. Sometimes jail for those people are like paradise. They eat, drink, you know, call their wives, meet their grandchildren. This is a true life. And in some places in Europe, I think they can meet their wives a month per uh, once or twice per month or uh, things like this. So the man has a complete life. He enjoy his life. And even he can escape, the, flee, the, run away from the jail and continue his life. And most of people, after they run away or get out of jail, two, 60% of them are able to do the same crime. The killer may kill someone else. And here in America, it happened. A man said, I read about a woman in the internet, she's going to, uh, to death penalty. And I was sympathy for her. But when I went to the internet, I read about the woman. The woman killed her husband and went to jail for 20 years and get out. And she married another husband and after two years, she killed him the same way. So he doesn't feel sympathy for the woman. She had a chance and she repeated it again. But if this woman were went to, had been went to the death penalty, she wouldn't be able to do the same penalty again. Thank you. Yeah.